Hey guys, it's Angie. Welcome to day number 18 in my countdown to Halloween. Today I'm going to be doing a look based on La Llorona, which is a Latin urban legend. And legend has it that this weeping woman drowned her children after she found out her husband had left her. Then she drowned herself, and now she spends eternity crying and wandering around looking for her children. It's actually a really sad legend, but uh, I thought I'd make a cool makeup, so we've done a drowned type situation and we've got wet hair, we've got the wet skin going on, and the black tears. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's get started. But first, ah, moisture. All right guys, there's nothing on my face. All of my imperfections and dark circles are showing. So now we're going to base out the skin with a bit of a pale flesh color. And I'm using this pale dead color from the European Body Art Encore Undead Palette. The way that I like to do that is to use a sponge that I've pinched little pieces out of to create a texture, and then I dip it down in the paint and stipple it. The great thing about these paints is that they're translucent and they fade down into the skin. And I like to turn the sponge so I'm not getting the same pattern all over the skin. And if you're applying this near your eye, make sure to keep your eyes closed and wait for the paint to dry before you open the eyes. And be sure to get your neck and any skin that's gonna show. Before I move on, I'm gonna give you guys an alternative to the alcohol palettes, and that's cream paints, like this little stack. This one is from Cinema Secrets. And what you do to mimic the effect of the alcohol palettes is you scoop out a little bit of the cream. So we'll grab some of this yellow color. And it's best to do this on a palette if you have it. And then I'm going to dip my brush down into some alcohol. And I'm going to dilute that cream. As you can see, it gets very translucent and you can create some of the same similar textures. But alcohol pellets are probably your best bet because they are long lasting where creams will kind of smear once they're dry. But if you're on a budget and looking to do FX, do this, it works really well. Next, I'm gonna spatter on some more of the Pale Dead color. What I've done is grab my chip brush and loaded it up with paint and I have a tongue depressor, which I will use to flick onto my skin. And this will break up some of this crazy looking texture. I look like I'm really freckled, which is kind of fun. But yeah, you just spatter yourself away. This is known as the poor man's airbrush, by the way. The next one I'm gonna be using is from Skin Illustrator. It's their vein tone. It's this beautiful blue. And I'm going to apply that with a stippling brush. This is just a beauty brush that I don't really care too much about. So I'm gonna dip that down into alcohol and pick up some of that color. And now we're gonna help break up some of that pale with the blue. Before I move into the next layer, I'm going to apply a little bit of powder of the baby. This is gonna help the colors not muddy together. In a dead body, you will find that blood pools at the surface of the skin. So I'm gonna be using a color called Lividity. And again, with a textured little spongy guy. I'm gonna start applying that in certain areas. And I'm gonna add some more of the vein tone and a little bit more concentrated patches. Now I'm gonna put some more of that pale undead on top of everything to help blend together all of the colors. And I'm gonna stipple lividity on the lip as well. For around the eyes, I'm gonna use a bit of a cream from this little Cinema Secret stacker. I'm gonna get it onto my brush and really work it out of the brush. I just want like a faint wash of color. Put a little bit on the lips. You can accent some of the lividity in certain spots. Also make sure to set that cream around the eyes and really anywhere that you applied it. 
I'm going to lightly fill in the eyebrow now with a gray eyeshadow. Underneath the eyes, I'm going to apply a black face paint. And what I like to do is get a little bit of water in the pan and really saturate that brush. And then when I put it on the skin, it's going to oops, naturally drip down. And then I'm going to place it underneath the eye. Then I'll pick up some more water. Place it there again. More water. And more water. Keep adding the drops of water until it starts to run. And if you need to, you can add some more black face paint to intensify the tears. With a Q-tip, you can kind of use that around the outer corner of the eye to stipple on some black. I feel like really, you know, distressing these tears make them look a little better. Now I'm going to add some black liner to my waterline and make sure to get between the lash hairs. I need a little darkness around the eye, so I'm going to spatter some black alcohol paint. Just try to keep it focused on the eyelid. I am going to add a little bit of black liner to the top lid too. Just smudge it in. To give this kind of shiny appearance, I'm going to use Ben Nye's Final Seal. I'm going to probably do about two or three coats of this. And then I'm going to use a product called Gel FX from Jordan, which is a water gel, especially around like the lips and the nose. A little detail that I want to do is to go around the nostril a little bit. Now I'm going to add a little bit of black to the center of the lip. Let's do one more coat of Final Seal. For the teeth, I'm going to use the Tooth Lacquer Palette number one. You want to start by drawing your teeth and muffling your voice and looking crazy. And then you want to start painting that onto the teeth. Now I'm going to do my hair. I'm just going to spray water in it since I'm not wearing this, but I suggest using either a conditioner or an oil to make it look wet for a long time. But uh, since I'm just washing this off, water it is. You can also stick some of the wet strands of your hair down onto your skin. Like super effective on the chest too. And then finally I'm going to put this gel FX water gel on to certain areas. I'll just squirt some out on my hand. This product is probably very similar to KY Jelly, but you could also use like hair gel or whatever. So I'm gonna put some onto the tears, the lips. You can even spray your face with water since everything is sealed. Crummy River. Oh, cry me a river. Oh, cry me a river. Oh. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up La Llorona. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you're new here. I am making new videos every day in October, so make sure to check them out. I'll have a playlist linked somewhere on the screen if you want to check out all the other Halloween tutorials I've done. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.